Hi guys, this is my first video of going to TwitchCon 2019 as a TwitchCon ambassador. My ambassador experience was absolutely amazing. I was invited to stay at one of the best hotels right next to the convention center. I had early access to everywhere, including the merch store, which was fantastic. I got so many goodies there. I went to different meet and greets. I hung out with different people. That's Otzer. Otz, you're so cute. I love you. Oh my God, that's me looking totally disgusted. Write down in the comments what could I have found in my purse that made me look cringe that bad. That's HPX and Christine and Benny and Ryan. Guys, I love you. Thank you for here and for going to my meet and greet. That's me doing one of my recaps in the morning. I'm going to be sharing more stuff from TwitchCon in the upcoming weeks. I have so much material. And now I'm going to leave you with my highlight interview with Mary Kish, the amazing, talented musician, streamer, everything gorgeous Mary Kish, interviewing me for this year at TwitchCon. Hello, everyone. Mary Kish here at TwitchCon 2019, and I'm delighted to be joined with Angel's Piano. How are you, darling? I'm doing great. I'm so excited. We're here at TwitchCon. Woo! Energy is high. Angel, you do so many wonderful things on your stream. You are obviously very well known for what's in your title, piano. Tell me a little bit about your musical streams. Well, I started streaming music and I mainly love rock, um, heavy metal, rock, um, rock music, anything from the 80s really. <laughs> and thank God, like all my community is everybody in their 40s and 50s and even older. So they're always requesting me to play rock music and my original. So. That's so great. And you actually do play several originals. When did you write these? Where did this come from? Um, my originals actually came from interactions with community members and then I sat down and I, I'm going to sound like really weird right now, but I always say that I don't write the music, the music just comes to me and I'm not the only musician saying this, even Jordan Ruiz from Dream Theater says the same thing, you know, music is floating here and you just have the ability to bring it back down to earth and play it for everybody and that's what I feel I'm doing. And you're really doing it. You're doing it live for your community. Now, in addition to playing originals, you'll actually take requests, correct? I do take re some requests, not troll requests or <laughs> meme songs. What troll requests? Never. Something about a ranch. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I fell for that one night, so. They'll get you. Uh, but you do do some requests as long as they're, you know, legit. Um, how can someone request a song from you? They, um, I love reading chat. So instead of using a song request bot, I love people to just introduce the name of the song. And sometimes I mute the microphone and I start playing one song next to the other, doing like a super mega medley. I love doing that. That's really cool for you to actually do a mix live uh, based on what people are telling you. That's exactly what I love doing. Big mashups and the longer, you know, the better. You're like a little modern jukebox because you're kind of just changing it up. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, I mess the chords and then we create something new. So it's like a happy accident, Bob Ross style. <laughs> you're basically like the musical form of Bob Ross because you're just yes. like making it as you go on the fly. I'm 100% a mistake and you know people just have fun with that and they laugh with me. <laughs> That's cool. What are some of the songs that people might hear if they were to come to your channel? Um, Red Velvet, Oceans and Clouds. It's not the Korean band Red Velvet. It's actually an original I wrote almost three years ago. So take that, Red Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> the original Red Velvet. The original Red Velvet. <laughs> Oceans and Clouds and Embrace. There's a whole set of songs that are like heavy metal written, but I still need the band. So. So far. What kinds of artists do you feel inspiration from? Pink Floyd, The Doors, The Beatles, huge inspiration, Scorpions, Metallica, Megadeth, you know, all those sorts of music really inspire me. Yeah. And so these bands are actually quite different in their style. I mean, comparing Beatles to like anything Megadeth is like crazy. How do you combine these genres? Okay, in piano you can play melodies, but you can also play rhythm. And depending on how you play the piano, you can pretend like you're playing different instruments. For example, sometimes I play Gerudo Valley, pretending like my piano is a guitar. So I mix Metallica with River Flows in You by changing the chords a little bit and marking a different rhythm, and it really makes it sound really good. That's amazing. Now, um, for anyone who's new to your channel, could you give them a little bit about why they should come to your channel and give you a follow and check you out? Well, we have a super simple community. Um, we've just people come in and there's a lot of positive vibes. I never get into discussions that are going to make anybody feel upset. So I'm like a big mama of the whole chat, even the whole chat is older than me. If you're young, you can still walk in. That's fine. Oh my God, I'm so demanding. <laughs> I'm like, take that. You can. 
there's no age limit, high or low, for your channel. No, 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 no. everybody can come in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm a mom, clearly. So th that's why I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angels Piano. I hope you have a great TwitchCon. Thank you so much, Mary. It's been amazing so far, and I, I cannot wait to start. You guys don't go anywhere because there's going to be much more TwitchCon coming at you.